Good day. It is. Oh dear. That was cool. Good day. It is zero eight twenty seven on Sunday morning, zero seven November two thousand twenty one. And I'm in the GMC AT four towing the Old Town Predator Squareback Canoe since the Lund eighteen seventy five Pro V Bass is at the dealer getting winterized. We've had we've got some unseasonably warm and very fisherman friendly weather today. My only option is the old town. But you know who's not complaining? This guy. Big hole in the road right now. So we are on the access road to one of the many Lake Mini Chucks that are within half an hour of the homestead. This place, uh, I haven't been here in three years. At least uh, there's not a lot of bait in this lake uh, so the fish are usually cooperative there's a notorious sunset bite here I say notorious because you fish all day you think you're in the Dead Sea and then an hour before sunset you catch 20 smallies I'll be fishing uh, low and slow blade baits uh, a rattle bait like a blade bait if the fish stop moving around a little bit, uh, jerk bait, maybe, maybe a little swim bait. We'll see. Uh, I'll give you a little shot of what the canoe looks like, rigged and ready, because I haven't done that in a while. And uh, it's, uh, I really like this little rig. It's I fished out of it for nine full seasons before I got the Pro V Bass, and it's really where I these kind of lakes and this kind of fishing is where I cut my teeth here in Northern Michigan when I came here in 2007. Alright, I'm gonna uh, get this thing set up and I'll uh, see you on the water. Good talk. Alright, we got the uh, old town all rigged and ready. This is what it looks like. I've got, uh, I run two batteries. This one here in the front, and there's some wires running back here to the back. And I run the trolling motor off that one. A lot of that, uh, a lot of that front battery is mostly just for ballast, <laughs> and then the back battery runs the uh, the fish finder, and it's also the emergency battery home. I can just switch it so that I can use that one to get home. With. Of course, I got my life jacket, got my anchor. This is an old Minkota 50. Man, I've had that oh, nine, nine years, ten years. And we've got the uh, the tools and the paddle. And we've got an assortment of baits, rigged and ready. I've got uh, blade baits, rattle baits, hair jig, swim jig, jerk bait, and a small hair jig for some bottom baits. There's always some concessions that have to be made when you're not in the Pro-V Bass, but I brought some tackle with me. Got the net, and uh, it's uh, pretty darn nice right about now. So let's splash this thing and see what happens. Good talking. Brush pile on 14 feet. Caught some fish off that. Forty-six degree surface temperature right here. Oh, check that out. Listen, you hear it? Just marked a whole ass load of fish. Wow. Let's see if we can catch them. That is so funny. Sixteen feet. I'll throw him a blade bait. Oh, wow. 
followed it right to the boat. We're gonna have a good day. <laughs> followed it right to the boat. We are gonna have a good day. Sometimes when I don't fish these places, oh, he spit me. It was like a three pound fish. Unbelievable. Sometimes when I don't fish these places for a while, they don't get a lot of fishing pressure. I saw this like brown thing in the water. I'm like, what the hell is that? That was a fish. That is awesome. Holy smokes. Ooh, I felt him hit it. Here he comes. <laughs> hey, we can keep this one pinned. Hey, buddy. Choke it. Hey, my friend. I don't think I need to put you in there. Can I boga grip you? Choke it. I am on the right bait right now. Choke it. Okay. All right. Okay. Please? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't usually do that. But we got a little brown bass. Awesome. And this is a Damiki little Damiki blade bait. Change the hooks out. I put split rings on it. Uh, if I was if I was going to come here in November with one bait, <laughs> this would be it. Mickey. All right, easy with the spinning. And here's a little brown bass, very fat. <laughs> Dude, that was awesome. Let's do that again. All right, I'm up on a mid lake hump. I'm in 10 feet, and it's like 20 feet all around me. I'm gonna throw a jerk bait, see if I can see get any active fish that might be up a little bit this morning. Water temperature is 46, which isn't too bad. I'm throwing a little uh Mega Bass 110 plus one junior. 10 pound braid, uh, eight pound braid, eight-pound liter. Runs about eight and nine feet. Oh, fish! That was freaking awesome. The pause, man, the pause. Dude, that's like a good fish. <laughs> wow, it's a great fish. Hey, buddy. Oh, and he's got friends. Oh, this is just killer, man. If you've never fished in super clear water like this, you're missing out. <laughs> oh, man. That is just stupendous. Look at that. It just, they all look so good. Look at them peeling the line. They all look so good. Man. Jerk bait. Got them on a jerk bait. I'll be able to cover water and I can keep my bait clean. If they stay on this. I'd rather not put you in the net, my friend, if I don't have to. Nice fish. Two pounds, probably like two pounds. Yeah, bud, that was a great strike.
Red hook. Uh oh. There we go. He was not coming off. Thank you very much, sir. on this one. They keep eating this jerk bait. Red hook, right in the face. He's trying to dump it too, really hard. Easy, buddy. Easy. It's not hooked that good. Fish. I don't know if that's the one I saw or not, but. Megabass, 110 plus one junior and perch. Just the right size for this type of water. The old town canoe, making it happen out here today. How fun is that? It's just killer, man. Fatness. And this is what I mean by this is what I mean by clear water. <laughs> Six feet right there. Very awesome. Good to have in there. All right, I just relocated to a little point that has been very productive in the past. I'm gonna keep throwing the jerk bait. Good talking to you. First cast. Great fish. Wow, this is a, this is, oh, we get off. That was the biggest fish I'll see all day. Really surprised me. Really big fish. So the wind's supposed to pick up in a little bit, and we're also supposed to get some cloud cover. 
I'm gonna run around and just hit the high percentage spots. Good talking to you. So I just went through that same area I went through with a blade bait and a jerk bait. Yeah, the camera won't go. And uh, I went through with a swim bait, a little Kai Tech, a nice fish, and he choked it. So I can cover some water with that too. Good job. That was a good hook set. They like the swim bait. It's a lot out of front of the throw, I think. Famous last words. Swim bait bass. We're racking them up. Good dug. That's two I think two casts with this. He was close. He was right at the edge down here. Right at the base. No sense making a 60 foot cast if they're 20 feet away, right? They're really thumping it too, man. Which I can appreciate. Oh! I felt him get it. <laughs> That's a good fish. Hey buddy, how you doing? That's a real, that's a net fish. Uh oh. So we'll be fishing the swim bait for a while. Ooh, that's a scale fish. Holy smokes, Batman. Wow. <laughs> nice fish. Dude, for this lake, this is a this is a corker. I know you're looking into the sun, but I ain't moving. He just choked it too, man. Jesus. It's a little Kai tech on a finesse head. Let's weigh his body. Hello. Last one on here must have been a Bacharach fish at 616. <laughs> I don't think that was a smallmouth. Well, that's pretty funny. 416, I don't know if you can see that. 416, gee, that's a nice fish, 416. Not bad. Dude, thank you. That again.
That is a giant. That is a freaking giant. Please stay on. Holy shit, Batman. Please stay on. That is a giant. I'm like, literally, that's a Nendochuck North fish. And he's in the net. Glad I came over here. Wow. Came right out of the water. Uh. Water temperature's up to 47. I gotta turn the boat around for this one. Swim bait. For this place, that is a tank. <laughs> Last one was 416. Dude, he liked that swim bait. Four seventy-four. Dude. You kidding me? Dude, what a beast. Thank you, Mama. I'm gonna say that was pretty much the size of the fish that I lost. I don't think it was any bigger than that. When you haven't seen any big ones in a while in this super clear water. In the springtime, a lot of times to catch a four pounds mama plus, I have to kind of endure the elements. It's pretty brutal. This is about as nice a weather as I'm going to get. Really nice. Good talking. All right, the sun's uh, starting to drop on the horizon there. It's cooling off quite a bit. I'm going to hit a couple of the uh, high percentage areas. Wow, we need a new battery. Good talking here. Hydration, very important. All right, so it's, uh, looks like it's about an hour before sunset. And uh, I had a pretty good morning and early afternoon. Uh, middle of the day and late afternoon has been slower. Uh, I'm gonna try a couple of more spots before the sun goes down. And uh, if I do something, you'll see it. If not, then good talking to you. I might come back tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see. Good day. It is Monday morning at 0810 on 08 November 2021. And I am on the very bumpy access road to Lake Minichuck again, towing the old town. Predator squareback canoe for the second day in a row, which is sort of a rarity in November, but I'll take it. I had a fun day yesterday. Sun and fun and brown bass, that's tough to beat, especially this time of year. Love to be able to duplicate that again today. Um, I expect to get a few less bites today. Uh, the areas and the spots that I fished yesterday there's only so many prime pieces of structure on, especially a little lake like this. Uh, so certainly I don't think that I saw left every fish in the lake, but the aggressive ones, at least the ones that were aggressive yesterday, I was introduced to briefly. <laughs> so I don't know how many of them will be willing to participate in that evolution again today, but we'll see. I will if they will. <laughs> I might stay for the sunset bite tonight, we'll see. I bailed yesterday. Wow, that really looks good. Good job. Right. 
we are launching. Hopefully that looks. Anyway, yesterday I got poked right out here in front. There's some brush down in about 20 feet right behind me. So the action started kind of quick yesterday. Kind of caught me off guard too, I'll admit. But uh, I'm going to be ready for it today. So let's see what happens. And we are right in front right here. I think I hit him right on the head. Maybe not. Whoop. Yep. Pick it up off the bottom. Small fish. First cast. Hey, bud. How's it going? Oh, he's got buddies. I can't believe he's willing to come into this. This is like six feet, and he came right in here. Wow. The second one, I mean. I, he must have grabbed the tail. I hooked him in the head. He might come off. I was thinking maybe this downsized swim bite might get me a few bites. Let's see. Coming up. Shaker. A better fish. to the smaller swim bait. Nice one. <laughs> that sunshine is killer. Yeah. Picked it up off the bottom again. I mean, while it was sitting still, two fish. I'm 192.6 feet from the ramp. It's a very precise measurement, by the way. All right, I'm, uh, I'm anchored up on a spot. I lost a big fish yesterday. Wind's blowing a little bit more. Water temperature's down a degree. I'm still gonna fish the jerkbait. I, I fished a junior, 110 plus one junior. I'm gonna fish the full size bait today. See, or right now anyway. Always check your drag. Feels good. All right, let's see what happens. I don't like where I'm All right, I relocated to a mid lake hump. Caught a few fish here yesterday. The wind is. Uh, 
not my friend right now. <laughs> Good talking. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna try a blade bait for a few minutes, a little Damiki Gold. Maybe we can scare up somebody. Water temperature is 46. Surface water temperature. I used to catch fish right there. I don't know what happened. All right, the uh, sun is setting. I've been uh, I've been all over the lake. I got those two fish early this morning, and it's been tough sledding. It was pretty windy. Yeah, he knows. It's been pretty windy, but uh, past. I just ate a sandwich. Past like 10 minutes, it's kind of calmed down a little bit. I'm going to uh, stick around and get over there to my favorite little point back there and see if I can do something at, uh, at sunset. And if I do, you'll see it. <laughs> and if not, then this will be the, uh, this will be the swan song for the 2021 season. Uh, doing it in the old town. We're going to be putting it up. We're going to be getting some total November northern Michigan type weather. So this is going to be the end of it. But uh, probably. But the old town uh, doesn't really get winterized. So if all of a sudden we have some crazy gorgeous 60 degree weather in December and it's not frozen. Maybe I'll come out. We'll see. Uh, time will tell. Until then, probably next year. Good talking to you. Stay safe. All right, I just pulled up to this mid-lake hump. <clears throat> we still have uh, a couple hours for sunset. The wind has kind of calmed down. The water temperature is up to uh, 47 degrees, and this is only like six or seven feet of water right here, and it's crystal clear. And as I got up onto the hump, I saw a back of about a five pound smallmouth. <laughs> Things are looking up. That's the first sign of life, other than some really small bait that I've seen in several hours. Jerkbait City, here we go. Man, sometimes I am supremely fortunate. Wow. I, uh, I caught two fish on the first two casts of the day this morning. Thank you, dude. I'll, I'll take that. And uh, I didn't know that the second one had a pretty good chance of being my last fish of the year. And I've been seeing this. I'm on a mid-lake hump. There's like 30 minutes of sunshine left. And I've been seeing this really nice fish all over this hump up at the top chasing my baits and I could not get her to bite um, she really looked like she wanted to changed baits a few times she followed my jerk bait right here to the boat a couple of times uh, I went back to the uh, mega bass 110 plus one junior in perch with the red hook first cast she crushed it I actually thought she was much bigger than this, and I don't know if this is the same fish, but this is a pretty nice fish. <laughs> I'm really happy. Let's check it out. It's like a three pound fatty. And I do not want to put my hand in there and get that in the year with the six treble hooks in my hand. I'm pretty sure there's water all over the lens. Hold on, I am prepared for that. Sweet. All right, let's get this hook out of her and let's look at her and we'll let her go. Thank you very much, Mama. 
she is a butterball. Did you see this? Okay, all right, okay, that's my finger. Wow. Look at this butterball. <laughs> That is a fatty. Nice. Nice. Well, if I'm ending the year, that's the way to do it right there. I'm gonna go on the inside and see if I can pluck another one, but I'm pretty happy about that. Till maybe next year, good talking here. Splash.